What's happening, sports fans? We got a uh, another special guest. This is our first ever uh, people outside in the waiting room because they have an entourage and they showed up in their own van uh, experience. It's Mar Vista Water Polo. Coach, thank you very much for bringing everybody up here. Um, let's go around the room and do introductions because there's going to be a lot of names and faces. So uh, let's start with name, grade, and position, please. Uh, my name is Thomas Spaulding. I'm a high school senior, and I'm the starting sprinter. Do you sneak college kids onto this team? <laughs> Why is he okay deal? <laughs> Hi, my name's Fletcher and uh I'm the um I'm a senior and I play basically play everywhere. Hi, I'm Nathan Crosby. Um I'm a, a junior and I am for soft bench. <laughs> It's, it's surprisingly honest. Hello, my name is Bradford Dixon. I'm a junior. I'm center defender. My name's Ethan Hastings. I'm senior and utility player. And I'm Coach Kavanaugh. What number of year is this for you at Mar Vista? Ooh, started in uh, around, uh, for the boys, I think 2005. Okay. Boys uh, first and then girls or girls first and then boys? I was boys? coaching girls already, and then the boys coach stepped down, and I took the boys over. Deal. Um, so you guys this year have no pool. Uh, you're entirely road warriors. Uh, you're jazzed up about that because there's also a chlorine shortage. Um, everyone else comes out of a pandemic normal, and you get you just go into the worst one. Uh, how's that treating you? Yeah, so we uh, survived the pandemic last season, uh, doing both sports at the same time and both genders. That was crazy, and we thought that was over, and then we <laughs> entered this season, and pandemic's over, kind of, uh, but this chlorine shortage is throwing us through a loop, so we've got every – School in our district is practicing in Parkway Pool and Las Palmas Pool. Uh, we're sharing a two-hour time slot with another school. Some teams have an hour and a half. At a and Parkway is not Parkway. big yeah, at all. Six lanes. So is it even deep enough on both ends, or do you have the standing up? Because that's an, that's a hilarious version of water polo when one of the goalies is just standing out of the water and you're. Yeah, one side's like six feet deep, so five, five and a half. So some tall goalies are definitely using the bottom on on practice and games and you guys just have to roll your roll your eyes at that you're just like come on what are we doing here like it, that because that's not makes it easier for us really makes it easier for you guys because scoring too or no <laughs> yeah you gotta do is just one, throw one big pump fake and the goalies jump on the one side well i'm glad you bring up scoring specifically you were one of three kids last year that combined for about a trillion goals um what are we looking at this year are you the same kind of offensive firepower like are you happy with what you're seeing so far because we're what a week away from first games how, 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 we already played. Are you already, okay, so so give us the report on the offense this year. Um, I mean, we won our first game about twenty-two to five. The second game about what, like twenty to five again, and then third game we beat Santana, who just won D two. Oh, you you beat Santana, nice. Yeah, that's classic. I think we beat them what fourteen eight. Fourteen eight. Got him. So pretty solid this year. Same team as last year. We only lost one guy off the bench, so we're looking pretty pretty solid. Now, for you guys, what is the, you know, a, a football team will know after maybe three or four weeks, hey, we can pass a little, we got some good, de like, they'll know what the identity of this team is. Is is water polo take one game to figure it out, all season to figure it out? Where do you guys kind of have circled on the schedule of, hey, if we're successful by this point, we're happy? We, we can tell quite, quite quickly. Um, after one, two games, you can kind of tell – um, how we run an offense and what works best for each player. He's like, I, there's a few kids on our team who work better in a fully set up offense. And like, there's, there's so much variety in each individual player that you kind of have to connect with each player and know what they want. You guys are largely happy with what you got going on so far this year. Yes. I'm very Lo happy. Loving it. And, Coach is obviously seeing smiles across the board here, but Coach, you have now a little bit of a frame of reference. You have taken this team to the finals or semifinals, I feel like, four of the last maybe six years. It's been an upward trajectory for you. Is this continuing on that pass, or do I get to get the quote from you that this is the best squad you've had in a while? Yeah, we've got we to gotta break that trend. We went to semis in 2014 or 15, came back in 18 with the boys, and we haven't, we haven't, haven't won one yet, so... Uh, this is the team that should be able to do it. You know, we're in D1 now, though, so the, you know, upside, downside, we could be. You need that nine spot. One. Yeah, you, so need that, you, you need that nine spot badly. Is an honor to be in the top eight. but It isn't, know, though. It really we're, is. If it, we're eighth, we got to play one. No, you know, it, that's, it's, that's it's you, guys, you guys field hockey, lacrosse. There's a couple of those sports that aren't just quite deep enough yet that we're like, we get it. 
Right. Tory Pines for lacrosse or Bishops and Car- Carl's bat. Like they got goons. They got literal like dudes that the football players are scared of. And yeah. you're like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, what are we doing there, here? There's four teams that are always going to be on top. Well, and, and, and big I divide between four and five. So people that watch this show will know that I blather on constantly about this. I'm a La Jolla alum. So I grew up with the understanding that water polo players were the tough ones and the football players like us needed pads and we were obese and <laughs> it would be, it would be Tom Atwell and his, his guys, running laps around the football field while we are all like, <gasps> like gassed. And they're just like, oh yeah, this is our third practice today. We've been uplifting weight since 4 a.m. We're going to go win a CIF championship this year. Losers! Um, so I've always been very big that like, I understand that water polo is way up here in terms of when you go all in on that lifestyle, you get some guys that just commit to being up at two in the morning, lifting weights, going to bed at 10 at night and they eat, sleep and breathe it. Um, for you guys, though, Mar Vista is kind of that program of the South Bay. Do you feel like you get the respect you deserve, or do you feel like it's an ever-increasing uphill battle to just be like, hey, look, put some respect on our program? I feel um, – you know, no, All of you can answer that. This is not exclusively like I'm, – I'm not small windows here. Talk as much as you guys want. We've been playing together probably since fourth or fifth grade for all of us, maybe sixth grade for some of us, and it's kind of been a whole thing in our community. So I feel like we do get the respect, and people want to see us do good. I feel like we definitely get the respect. Like uh, with teams in our other league, we have a lot of people, like for a lot of friends we've made between the teams that, you know, kind of look up to us and say like, man, wish we were with you guys or like wish we played on your team because, I mean, we're blowing teams out in our league 20 to 20 to 2, 20 to 3. It's, we, get, we definitely get our respect. Now, Fletcher, speaking of respect, I need to know, does the team respect your sock game? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes, respect. we all re- yeah. Does he have best Pretty sock hard. game on the team? Um. Yeah, he, he was the last one out of the van just doing his sock game. So yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So hair and makeup had to hair hair and makeup had to had to come in. So you're wearing icy socks right now, literally. Uh icy socks. What are some of the other do you are you like uh you need a certain one on game day to have a good game like routine um, or no? Not really. I Why just, are you laughing? I kinda just try and Because he probably does. <laughs> not, not really. It's just kinda like I just kinda try and match uh, match the socks with the shirt. All I really go for. Okay, so so like colors wise is what you're saying. Like these are predominantly white yeah. socks. Go with a white shirt. I or? was wearing I was wearing a different. I was wearing an Otter Pop shirt earlier. So why'd you change? That'd have been a great look. Because I had to wear my Marvista polo. Do we agree, or would he would would him in an Otter Pop shirt have been much more representative uh, yeah. of who he I is? Really. Oh well. Deal. Um, represent the team. Fair enough. Coach, just so you generally know, switch them in and out whenever you would like. Um, I will leave you responsible uh, for the substitutions. Um, for you guys, though, you're a couple games in. You like where the team is at. How does a water polo team like you guys maintain its intensity, though? Because game, you know, football, everyone can understand. You got that Friday game. You got the certain routine that you go through. Sometimes you have weeks where you have two games. Sometimes you have stretches where you don't have games. This year you're all on the road. What are you doing in terms of mentally keeping that edge all season well i I can say as a player like we try to emphasize like emphasize always being ready for a game like we can get thrown a game tomorrow and we would be prepared for it like no matter who we play when we play we would be ready to play full out a very physical very strong game no matter when i don't know i kind of feel like with us our team's a little special compared to other teams we kind of Personally, how I see it, I feel like we kind of walk into a game with a lot more, I wouldn't say confidence, but like kind of like laughter, like kind of more want to have fun in the game than we do take it seriously, which is kind of the nice part is we kind of come into the game and look to have fun more than we do kind of win. And it's kind of weird, but with so loosey goosey kind of like, like you're, yeah, you're, we, that's how we and roll. coach that concerns you or you like that? Because I know some coaches will be like, hey, I need you guys military precision focused right now or you let the inmates run the asylum. Uh. You know, there's a balance. Uh, I've learned to have a balance with Marvista kids. It's just a, it's a different town. Um, (laughs) And, and so there's there's, there's a balance where you got to play with a chip on your shoulder. You know, like we're always the underdog, you know, coming from the South Bay and coming from, especially IB, we're on the wrong side of the street. You know, we're, we're the part of the district that doesn't get all the new stuff, you know, Uh, we're getting a brand new pool now though. So, I mean, but for yeah, a hooray long for time, the hooray for the senior time, class that's been together been forever to be gone. Right, upgrades. You know, we're you always, still don't have a football field. It it, it we're, it's a long time coming. You know, we still got a dirt track. You know, there's a lot of things that have not been upgraded on Marvissa. They never replaced our, our tennis courts after they put it in the new gymnasium. You know, it's 
lot of times we feel like we're like the last dog in the line, you know, that, that gets gets taken care of last. And so there's a, there's a chip like we play with a little chip on our shoulder. Like we we want to make our our name for ourselves, but there's also a fine line. Like these guys and my girls teams are the same way. They play better when they're having fun. They play better when they're looking out for each other and trying to hook each other up with some goals. And 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 when they play loose and are having fun doing it they play outstanding if they feel too much pressure or they're not sure if they're prepped or there's any doubt in their mind you know that that's that's when we kind of so is there, is there a person who you guys would say is the singular barometer of if this person's in a good mood like yeah. the whole team is reflective of it or it, it's it's a group vibe i would say it bounces around okay that, that person can change from day to day on any day and one of these guys will be the hype man and when they'll get down in a game you know get two goals scored on or whatever and one guy just just need one guy to rise up and get a goal or say something or make them laugh and it's game on fair yeah, enough that's how i see it um in route to games who controls the aux cord in that van because that feels like that's a uh, uh you guys don't really do, do you guys don't do pre-game like hype it's music actually, football team would do but i will say it's actually one of the jv kids right now it's one whoa of the, yeah oh, yeah yeah we have one of the fr- what's actually because none of, of you care, it's or because this kid's no, actually just cool enough. It's both. It's, it's both. Okay, yeah. fair enough. He, oddly, he just he just gets his hype. He's one of those guys. Yeah. He's a freshman. Yeah. He's a freshman. He's a phenom yeah. at, at the uh, the the mastery the of the hype uh, of the team. Um, I'd say so. Yeah. He, so four year he letterman, going. He, he's gonna get a he's gonna get a varsity letter this year just for uh, yeah. uh he's our hype man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for pregame hype throughout the, we'll call him up for the playoffs, have a whole uh, have a whole ceremony. Uh, <laughs> bringing him up the just for the good luck charm. Yeah, they're like we were at West Hills and our bus schedule just gets us there super early and oh, like are we talking like a couple hours early? Oh like oh, three hours dropped off at one or game was at three oh. thirty. In, in West Hills, West Hills heat, you know, it's 92 degrees. Right yeah, and I'm sure they have air-conditioned everything yes. for you guys to hang well, out guys, in. Oh, no, we're sitting oh, on no. the this pool. Freshman I was saying it sarcastically. And these Thank guys you. are, like, dancing for an hour, an hour and a half straight on deck. It is, it is... So can we get a sample of the dancing, or do we need the music <laughs> oh, to go with it? And this is... Oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see Fletcher's <laughs> leadership here going, it's all you. No, no, I saw him out there dancing in that pool deck. <laughs> No, uh, so is, if because if if not here, I'm, I will hold you to it on either our TikTok or our IG live. Like we're gonna get dancing out of you guys if it's being thrown out publicly. I that think, Tyler I think in he, here, he'll dance for you. Bring I, him in, bring him in. Then bring Ty, 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 Line change. Let's go. All right, okay. line change. Wilson. Appreciate you guys. We need, you need Wilson and Tyler. Yeah. Wilson. Yeah. And we Tyler. need Wilson and Tyler. Yeah. Um, are you the youngest of how many? Isabel uh, Hastings, no, the no, no. okay, Duncan, your sister was, first. was I was not here for Duncan, but your sister was like one of my first yeah. year, like might have been my first, yeah, year, on first year on the job. That was an uh, unbelievable uh, moment. Oh, she d- does not like the Kiwi one. Wilson, you've been uh, in for oh yeah, okay, so, yeah. So wait, Wilson's the one. Okay, so Wilson, you you've been thrown immediately under the bus. Um, no, no, you guys are hanging in here. You guys are. Your name is literally Luke Wilson. Nice. Uh, Luke, uh, um, you have been thrown under the bus as the team dancer on the pool deck, and we need a sample of what that dancing looks like on camera uh, before you guys can get out of here. Just no warm up. I mean, you can warm up, but it's got to be on camera for us. We'll let, we'll let you start dancing while we go around, and everyone else can introduce yourselves. Uh, guys, please do your best to speak directly into the microphone. Uh, Luke, just keep going. Just keep going. We'll tell you when to stop. Uh, inter- introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Trevor Rector. Keep Tyler going, Luke. Kavanaugh. I'm going. Dylan Hartley. Luke Wilson. <laughs> Coach Chalmers. <laughs> Yes, okay, so I like this. I like this. Luke, do you have any interest in just doing this all year for us in every interview? Just be the awkward kid in the background dancing the whole time? Of course. Uh, it was awkward. Oh, no, I'm saying it'll be, awkward. it'll be awkward for when, like, there's a tennis team in here, and it's just unexplained why Luke is still in the background dancing. Uh, yes. Same uh, all right, we'll, we'll get a good clip of it, and I'll tell you what. If you can't come in, we'll just put you in a little box in the over in the like a small little zoomed out box in the corner of every interview. Won't explain it all year unless you're listening to this one episode. But yeah, uh, welcome in part two of Mar Vista. We were just talking about how you guys are a loosey goosey team, and not, you know you kind of feed off that, keeping everything cool and loose up into a game. So, from your guys' take, what has the first couple of games, first couple of weeks of, of this season been like? Tough. Tiring? 
what what is what's the what's the tiring part? Is it practice or is it a game? Because I feel like low key a game is practice, right? The game is like our break, our break for the week. It it, it it seems a little backwards because most sports you're gearing up for that. So, but what so what does a normal practice look like for you guys? Couple, oh, a couple laps in the pool, <laughs> <laughs> like More a couple, a couple. hundred <laughs> laps in the pool. Just swimming freestyle? Are you? I mean, for, like, speak to the, some of the people that might genuinely not know what you do at a water polo practice. Like, because conditioning, everyone else knows that it's running, but in swimming, is it just down and back until I say stop? Like, what do you guys specifically well, do? Coach Kavanaugh's first couple weeks of practice is just swimming back and forth until you can't feel your shoulders, and nice. then there's some legs with chalmers, and then you can't feel your legs either. So it's. Pretty pretty tough. Yeah, we get weight belts on and we gotta into the mic. We get weight belts on. <laughs> we get ten pounders. Some of the some little like kids get, little kid. get, get seven <laughs> pounders and five pounders, and then you gotta just get your arms out yeah. and try not to die. And we'll back and, yeah. and you hit the lip and yeah, uh, yeah yes. Uh, I, um, how heavy is the weight belt for 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 the heaviest? Like who who's ten the, ten ten. Anything past 10 is just suicide? Like, you're just needlessly challenging yourself for no reason? Yeah, yeah. I got 10 pounds on the waist and five on each wrist because I was acting out. Yeah, <laughs> because oh, you're acting. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like that might be in the Geneva Convention that you might be able to not strap things yeah. to people's wrists and ask them to swim, but I like that. No, uh, no, no, no yeah. swimming. No swimming during that. No, oh, just that's just, w- just legs. Yes. That's, I, that's knew, I, knew, I knew I picked the right thing in baseball. Walk to the mound, walk back. Uh, <laughs> easiest sport possible. Um, and that's the first couple weeks, and then it dies down, or he nope, always, nope, nope. if you be acting up, you're, you're going to be going back to doing legs. Well, yeah. we, we still swim a lot, but not nearly as much because we have a shorter pool time, so we have to actually play water polo other than be a swim team. No, we got a longer pool time now. Yeah, so we can do hours. just the same swim. amount of swimming, <laughs> and then we got a little bit of time for water polo after. So you guys are a swimming team with a water pole problem. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Deal. It works out though. It works out pretty well. Um, so what do you guys have? What's the, uh, what's the goal for the team this year? What do you guys, are we talking to championship? Win. Like we want to win, win everything. All the games. We want to win D1 specifically. You want that? I was going to say, you want that nine seed. We were, we were talking about that yes. with everybody. Yeah, yeah, You're gunning for just enough wins and losses to get that nine yes. seed. Um, and then mysteriously, you guys get all sick with about four games left to go because you're doing too well and uh, or everyone has a school trip or something like that. <laughs> or we all um, play with our left hand. Or we all play with your left hand. <laughs> Mandatory core. <quarter>. Oops. <laughs> They're all sick. Um, hey, look, I'll tell you this, man. Nothing will be worse than uh, a couple years ago, Kearney's basketball team retroactively the day before the the final points were due, they had to forfeit their first game of the year because they accidentally found a kid who had accidentally played while academically ineligible. And everyone just put their fist through their forehead. And you're like, wow, you needed to get out of open that badly that you manufactured <laughs> one kid because they dropped from that eight seed to the to the nine and go figure they won D1 that year. And everyone's like, well, that comes with an asterisk. Um, so when you do need those somebody, I will throw on a wig and I would love to go out there and lose one for you guys. It would be an honor. Um, we'll put this kid in the cage. Yeah. I'm that seems like an insult. Are you are you are you willing to take that, or you, you uh-huh. think he'll I'm take like, it? I'm like the best, just not, in general, like, or just a goalie. Not like just the best, <laughs> <laughs> the goat, if you'd like greatest all right. of all time. So oh, we're looking at socks. What do you got on the socks down there? <gasps> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> so you say you good. say. Oh god, we we had we had Fletcher in here. Yeah. Who's got better sock game? Oh, Tylo, definitely Tylo. Me. Sure. Fletcher, do we agree with that? Uh oh. Do you have second best sock game here out of everybody? Cow. Shoe game on fleek right here. Let's go. Cow. Okay. But if you add the shoes, I have, like, the best. <laughs> Easy. All right. Here, Easy. wait, hold on, hold on. We're going to get a photo of this. We'll put it on our Instagram, at like SD Prep Insider. Just, I, hey, I hey, hey just be careful. If you turn around right now, your butt straight into the camera. Um, that's the best. Like that's we can't say that part out loud. Uh, <laughs> we'll get the photo afterwards oh, for, for yeah. the for the IG. But uh, at SD Prep Insider, you can go vote. Um, we'll put it on the poll also. Uh, socks and sandals? You brave? Oh, vote for Tylo. Uh, that's a standard look? Like, you'll rock that to school? Oh, yeah. He was Maybe there today. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the slides. I respect it. Or the slides. I respect it. I respect it a lot. Um who do you guys have circled this year as big? Who's biggest rival? Poway or Sampasqual. 
Valhalla. Actually, no. Not San Pasquale. Monkey. Just Poway. <laughs> I'm gonna let somebody else answer because that was a lot of schools. Um, I, I would say Poway. Poway. We won them all. <laughs> <laughs> we lost to Poway in the semifinal, so I mean, that's these guys want that one. Yeah, and do you guys have them soonish, laterish? I, I, I don't. Think re- we got them on the schedule in September. Yeah. Okay. It it all feel it. I'm having my existential crisis moments this week of like all the sports are all of a sudden back again after a month off. Um, so I'm, I'm like, oof, uh, can't keep all the schedules quite straight. Um, for you guys, school is back in session. School is in right now. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. I always like asking people from uh, the South Bay that are doing this while in school. Because a lot of the other, like basically everyone else in the rest of the county right now is still on summer break and gets to balance doing Hell Week or starting the season while not also having to go to school. Would you guys prefer that or do you think this makes you tougher and better and more focused and like, can you do all of this better while you're back in school? I, I no think school. This is better. No school. Okay. Fair enough. Because like we get to wake up early, then I can wake up 530 every other day, then go to school, get a little bit of rest and just practice after school. So. Balance. Makes you mentally tougher. Yeah. yeah. Better. It's less to think about, I'd say. Probably. Just got always got something to do. Well, it lets us wing out the guys who really want to play and who don't by getting this going so they'll know exactly how it's going to be when it does come for the season and the school opens. I'm assuming you also weed a lot of them out with leg days? Yes. I've, Unfortunately. I've been known to do that a couple times, yes. Yeah. He's the weed whacker. He's the weed whacker? Oh. Yeah. Is that an official nickname or is Luke just crazy? Can't be now. <laughs> now. For sure. Deal. Uh, let's do this. Luke, in addition uh, to your newfound role as our dancer, uh, you can just assign nicknames to anybody ever. Um, we just, just we will send you a photo of a team in studio and you can just give names left or right. Uh, you, anything you want, man. I like I like where your head space is at. Right Good, yes. yeah. Oh. Uh, how'd you how'd you decide on those shorts? So I was at the pool today, and I put my shorts down in a puddle. So I had to borrow my buddy's shorts. And that's oh, so I'm these rocking. aren't even yours? Not even mine, nope. Okay. <laughs> nice. Whose are they? Is uh, someone on the team or no? Yeah, but my buddy Jared, he he didn't make the cut. <laughs> the, he, he missed the last he one. The they, they were out of spots in the van. Yeah. So so Jared's, did we leave him at the pool outright? Did, did Jared get forgotten no, he, about or did he get a ride home? He just finally tried. We've been trying to get that kid to play since freshman year. He's a good athlete, good swimmer. But, ah, uh, he's, he's the project. Surfer. You know, we like to try to bring the surfers in. Um, but, you know, senior year, he finally came out with Do all friends. of you guys surf also? Is that a cliche? What percentage of the team does surf? That it's not surf every day. It's, yeah, it's real. Yeah, looks like it. We look like it. We do. That's just that's Cause, facts. Because I was gonna say, other than you having shaved head, everyone is uh, <laughs> some degree of a cliche yeah, walking and talking around. You had a mullet. I did. Yes. It was bad. What happened to it? <laughs> it was pretty sick. It was pretty sick. What happened to it? Ethan, it's Ethan all in the vacuum. In the yeah. Yeah. Ethan, he he's cut it really. Do you well. just finally lose interest in it, or does a girl call you out, or what? My girlfriend. She said no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll put Honest it on the truth. we'll put it on the poll also at SD Prep Insider. If your girlfriend says no moss to the mullet, does it have to go? Uh, no, I can imagine it. Uh, I I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Coach, we really appreciate you bringing all these kids in here. Um, it seems like you guys are right in that loosey goosey mind frame. Um, for you though, what is the goal? Like what? I know that you said looking to get in deep into the run of of the D one playoffs, but. Um, on a year where you're coming out of a pandemic, but you still have to struggle and uh, work through all of this, no pool and everything. What does a coach say to themselves just about uh, like your connection with this senior class and just what you want to get done over the next couple months? Uh, you know, we brought these kids in. We started started a club at our at our school, and uh, when we did that, these guys were like little guys, little brothers. Um, some of the coaches were coming in, they're little kids, and they just started jumping in the shallow end and started playing together. So this is a special year for me. These guys have been playing together for a very long time, and this is, you know, the pinnacle of their careers as far as high school goes. This is their senior year, and uh, we're hoping to make the most of it. It's kind of a a very loose dream that we get out there and do something, make it in the open division or win a D1 title with this crew, which – Never been done yeah, are you guys going to put up a banner for yourselves as just an open division participant? Because I've seen yeah. that in a couple schools where they're like, yeah, we keep coming in seventh and eighth, but we're going to just put up a banner anyway. 
Yeah, they, I mean, we're going to, if that's the way it rolls out, that's the way we're just going to celebrate. You know, I mean, yeah. being in the Open Division is an honor. None of our teams have ever qualified for, for, qualified for the Open before. We were real close last year. I was going to say, nobody in school history no. across the board has made it to Open. No. There's no, there's no other team in D1. Only my, right. my water polo teams are only teams in D1 at our school. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, everyone out, everyone that's still outside. Uh, we will have their whole schedule in um, in the descriptions for this uh, video. And we will always now, for the rest of the year, just have a small box over here in the corner where Luke is dancing. Yes. Uh, we yes, appreciate sir. all you guys oh. coming in. And we'll talk to you guys later this season.